You're great. You're great. You're great. You're great. Hey, Derek. Are Derek. we going to have nicknames for each other each episode? You're great. Yeah. You're great. I'm under boob. That's the original. That's the OG. So you're Nev so Nips. Great. I'm under boob. Oh, wait. Really let's good. not give away the studio production value we have here. It's pretty, pretty low. You're <laughs> probably going to sing anyway, so you might as well just use it. That's a good point. I'm... That's so funny. Why? Because <laughs> I don't know how to do this podcast you know, unless we look into each other's I, eyes. It's just the fucking generation jacking themselves up. It's easy to hate something that's really good. But everyone listening is cool, and all of the cool people are going to that show. You should do. This is a positive podcast. That's what we're going for. Yeah, we're that trying, was like the difference. People are going to be like listening to this and like, it's so fucking happy. <laughs> <laughs> this is the feel good movie review. Eventually going to put out a CD just of my singing, me singing random, random songs. <laughs> Tingling. Got a little tingly. Feel good, uh, right guys. Turned down I think, for what? <laughs> I think that's turned down for hug life. You're great. You're great. You're great. You're great. You're great. You're, great. you're so great. You're, you're the best. You're, you're great. Oh, you're the best. You're this the best. is so gross. Mitch, you're the greatest. Mitch, you're, you're great. So great. Great, I'm Mitch. Not, you're great. I'm not partaking you're in Mitch, that. Mitch, because that's too bad. Because you're so great. It's hug time, motherfucker. Mitch, mother have I ever told you how great you are? <laughs> Welcome to Hug Central Station. No, you told me how, how great I am. You did tell me that you could hear me breathing into the microphone. Well, it was hard to hear over really that one. Really it was the hard to hear. Greatest breathing I've ever. Heard I couldn't about. hear the breathing over the sh- candy shoveling into your mouth either. Oh, see, people, he really is a bad person. It only but takes a little bit tell, to bring okay. it out. It only takes a little bit. I'm really terrible. What is this? This is Hug Life. Yeah. And it's a podcast. Okay, cool. Welcome. How what are, are you, you doing? Is it all about positivity? No, it's not. It doesn't have to be. I'm positive. I'm going to break this up. You're going to break this up tonight? Yeah. It, you know what? It, it's, it's, it ain't no daily dabble. <laughs> <This is a, laughs> He's trying to break you're it not, You're not going to take my partner away from me. Oh, uh-oh. That was the... I'm not going to take your partner away from you? No. I see what you're doing. What do you mean? You're moving <laughs> in. I, I leave You Seattle. never thought that maybe I'm going to Monica to get closer to you? <clears throat> it makes sense now. You're great. <laughs> it makes sense now. Hey, Mitch, you're great. <laughs> you're great. You're great. You're so great. You're so great, man. You guys are great, too. Yay! Yay! End of podcast. This is the Hug Life Podcast. <laughs> Welcome. We have a theme song now. You don't have to sing. Oh, yeah. I, I, I still sing all the Who time. Who did your though. song? Uh, Kane, Holloway. Kane Holloway. Candy Holloway. How did he do it? Um, Garage Band? I don't know. He, I didn't know Kane was talented. Kane's very talented. He just did it in his free time, too. He's like, I was listening to your podcast, and I made this. <laughs> I was like, is this what you do at home? <laughs> this is what he does at home in his spare time when he's like not, not kicking cats off of himself or his couch. There's cats everywhere. There are cats everywhere. Cats everywhere. Well, let's plug our shows. <coughs> Mitch, oh, would you like to plug some shows? This quick. Okay. This quick. We, we do them up top we because it's, it, we, otherwise we forget. We do all our plugs up top because then we won't forget. Yeah. I would just like to say that uh, this weekend, November, I believe it's 20th to the 22nd, mm-hmm. I will be at uh, the Tacoma Comedy Club. I'll be featuring for Justin Willman, who is an amazing magician, comedy magician. Ooh. Yeah, I'm super Ooh. excited because I'm like a little kid when it comes to comedy and magic. We worked with a comedian, uh, uh, comedy magician once, and he was like, oh my God, did you see that? Like every time he'd be like, how did he do that? Like, how did this where, where was it? At Tacoma. It was Louis Fox. Oh, okay. Louis yeah, Fox yeah, yeah, yeah. is great. He is great. Um, <laughs> Louis and, is great. And then uh, kind of like a dream come true, uh, December 18th, 19th, and 20th. I will be uh, hosting at the parlor uh, for Jim Norton. Like, oh, I'm, nice. Yeah, parlor I, Bellevue or Seattle? Seattle. Seattle. I had to put in like a special request because, like, I'm a huge fan of Jim Norton. Yeah. So it was like I got to make this. I want to come watch those shows. Okay. Cool. Twenty first, twenty second. Yeah, tickets are available online. <laughs> 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 I said that, and then I realized I couldn't go. I want to be in Alaska then. Oh, are you going to see your family? I'm going to go see my family. Ten days in Alaska in freezing Ooh. cold weather. Is it weather. worth it? Um, for the weather, no, no, just like the time put it's into traveling a, to Alaska. Oh, it's, it doesn't take that long. It t- it's a four-hour flight to Fairbanks from here, and to Anchorage is three and a half. It's not that long at all. It's crazy how quick you can get to different countries now. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. Like Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> Georgia is a different country. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> Monica, Monica, do you want to plug your shows? Yes, this Thursday, the 20th, I am at the Jewel Box Theater at the Rendezvous for the Competitive Erotic Fan Fiction Show. That's a podcast, very popular podcast. Ooh, Brian it's Cook's podcast. Fun. It's yes. great. There's network. Check it out. Um, and then, actually, Friday and Saturday, I will be closing the shows at Jai Tai. 
Uh, yeah. Yeah. One is the showcase and one is comedy on trial. Uh, and then on Sunday, I'm doing a storytelling show. Ooh. What are you going to do? What am I going to do? Yeah, your story. Well, Tell me a story. It's about Give people on a the sneak road. peek. I don't know. I'm either going to do the one about feeling a man boob in Portland or... Wait, you felt another guy's man boobs that are on this table right now? Yeah, but they were like real. I would like to say oh, that she's weird. never felt my man boobs. Then. Because she, the she respects me. She does not respect me at all. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone just else knew that. Object, really. I'm just an object. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, mean, I was trying to think of something from, from when we our were. trip. Yeah, but When we spent a week out on the road traveling across the country, up and down the country. I don't know. So we went Perusing. to different places. <laughs> what would be an event from ours that you would talk about? I mean, the beer festival was really cool. That was really what fun. about the dolphins? The dolphin the was dolphin. really cool. Do you guys like how I know you guys' stories? Because I wish I was there. Because <laughs> <laughs> I came back and I was like, oh my God, all this cool stuff. Yeah, like, you got to tell me about that. Um, we kayaked with a dolphin, if you guys haven't heard that. <laughs> Story. Boom. Done. And, uh, <laughs> Mitch tried to chase it, and I was convinced that if he got out of the kayak, it was going to try and have sex with him. Dolphins <laughs> do. They dolphin. vary your horny animals. Dolphins animal. are very rapey animals. <laughs> <laughs> he, he thought about it. He's like, I'm going to try and touch it. I was like, it's going to try and rape you. And he's like, oh, yeah, wait. No, <laughs> I, did, I didn't mind. It. Like, if I could have reached out and <laughs> just <laughs> petted. The dolphin? Yeah, that would have been cool. Um, and it, it like kept coming up next to me. Like I would kind of paddle out next to it and then it would like come out and then paddle some more and it would come out, but it just never got within like touching distance. Yeah. And the, we were in a bayou and so the water was in Louisiana like or in somewhere else. Florida. Are there bayous only in Florida? Louisiana? Florida. Florida? Uh-huh. Yeah. I've always wanted to swim with manatees there. That was the thing I want to do. Manatees. So you could finally fit in. Oh, that's so rude. Sorry. I've always wanted to eat lettuce in a pool, though. I, so. didn't, mean, I, didn't, I didn't mean to say that eat lettuce in a pool. <laughs> that's what manatees do. <laughs> they, eat it. It, they eat romaine I lettuce. I get it. Uh, okay, I'm going to tell my shows before we get offside track because we're going to. But the shows, this is a double plug. Uh, Mitch is going to be at the Offsides, feedback. Offsides? <laughs> not, not, telling your sto- not, not telling your show times? Mitch, uh, Mitch Burrow <laughs> and I are going to both be at the feedback lounge the night this drops on November 19th. And uh, Mitch looks surprised he's <laughs> on that show, but he's actually headlining Are it, so that's going to be fun. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we're doing that one. Great job plugging. <laughs> and then 20th to the 22nd of November, I'll be hosting at the Parlor Live for in Bellevue for Harlan Williams. Okay, my plugs are over. Mitch, what's your Twitter? Mitch Burrow. At Mitch Burrow? Yep. At Monica Nevy? Yep. And then I'm at Micheletta because my name's fucking taken. Okay. <laughs> you could sue. I can? But the other guy is a UFO hunter. Yeah, he is, and he play, and he, did, he also teaches people bongo drums. How many? He does both of those things. And he also ran for mayor at Colorado Springs. How did you have you talked how to him? Lost. Yeah, have I talked to him? No, I need to email his website. His website is from Wait, 1995, so I don't know if stop. I can. I want to know how many Twitter followers he has. Um, we can look it up. Because if he's if it's right. about UFOs, I bet it's a lot. Well, he's been on the History Channel, like talking about UFOs, so he's already he way just better use than that me. That as a credit. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> one's gonna know. You look like a guy who would talk about UFOs a lot. I actually did a show in Wenatchee where the lady put his face on the poster instead of mine. <laughs> yeah, so it's definitely here, that is awesome. It definitely, it was with Kermit, and I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> like Mike Coletta. Oh wait, so dude, Mike Coletta is just me that comes up, and some other oh, Moisen Coletta, maybe Molson Coletta, <laughs> Molson. Molson Coletta. Are you two Moisin L's or, or one? I'm one Coletta. L, two T's. Maybe this. Maybe someone has the Twitter name and they just never used it, which would be even more infuriating. Uh, there's a Mike Coletta, at Mike Coletta, with zero following and three followers. Oh, no. Oh, my God. J.R. Berard gonna have to kill him. is following them. Uh, <laughs> He's the only one. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Okay, none of these people are people one, we know. One of your good I, mi- I misread Twitter. Twitter no, I, I, I misread Twitter. That was my fault. There is a. Uh, At Mike Coletta, C O L E T T A. Yep. Yeah, it's just got three followers, zero tweets. Is it possible that you created a Twitter account? No, I never and- did. Oh, man, this is sad. Yeah, because you have an opportunity here. You could get this if you could just reach out to him. Maybe reach out to Twitter and be like, "Yeah, the guy that has my name doesn't actually have it." Like, there's another guy that's Mike Coletta, and he's Molson Coletta, like the beer, and he's a soccer person. So what's up with the with the alien him? guy? 
I guess maybe, maybe he's not on Twitter, but his website it. is glorious. MikeColetta.com. It's Oh my god, what's your website? My website's ColettaComedy.com because I couldn't get MikeColetta.com. God, do man. you have Mitch but, Burrow.com? Yeah, I do. Yeah. The only thing I don't have Mitch Burrow on is Gmail. Mm. Gmail um, is tough to get into. And get, oh my, my god. Nevi, everything. That's his website. That guy. <laughs> he's a beautiful man. That that website looks like it was uh, designed when dial-up was still. No, like, yeah. His website you, is straight up old this, school. This website is from before AOL. It's from Prodigy. Maybe he's dead. By the way, he's a freestyle djembe drum player, which means I'm pretty sure he just hits it whenever he wants because that's what freestyle <laughs> means. You just do whatever you want. <laughs> and that's the case, and I'm a freestyle guitar player. <laughs> freestyle air guitar, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. But yeah, so maybe I'll try to get it. Maybe I'll try to get the Twitter handle. I'll, I'll message them. Those be another list of things that bother me. That would be great. Yay. Uh, also, make sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the show on iTunes. That's what we have there. Please do it. It Please. makes things feel better. Also, yeah, it makes things feel better. Like us on Facebook, Hug Life Podcast on Facebook. And then you can email us at hugglifepodcast at gmail.com. Yes. Uh, why did you swear there on the podcast? No reason. Does she, is she not allowed to cuss? No, I just want to know sometimes why she does just it because she's so inappropriate. No. I can say whatever the fuck I want. Both of you have your computers out. Like, what's going on? Oh, we will see later. We got some things to do. We're gonna do a little thing that we're gonna that I think you're actually really excited for, but you don't know it yet. Are you? Is there a structure to this, or it's you kind of like a structure? <laughs> but we actually went a little more freestyle for this episode because we know you love to talk and we want to listen to your sweet, sultry voice. <laughs> <laughs> I hate my voice. I love I your voice. It. I gotta change it. I, okay, change it. Change your. What, what do you think? Like what do you think it should be? Also. I don't know. I I'm still like a vocal. Coach. Monica's voice is just like oh, Monica. Uh, yeah, but Monica has a really great voice. Uh, it doesn't annoy me, which is very uh, like uh, yours. Uh, uh, mine? <laughs> what guys? Guys? Just, just, <laughs> I, I I don't know if I've talked about it on a podcast before, but like uh, certain uh, women's voices are very annoying. Like really? the tone, the tonality. 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 Yeah, but like Monica's oh. tone is. Uh, Real bassy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> She's all about that bass. That was a nice, nice way. <laughs> nah, to put like it. Monica, she talks. She sounds like a a, a dude. She's you know? like, hey. she's got a real manly voice. I and feel that like puts you're trying to ease. compliment me, but it's really <laughs> not working. <laughs> no, I'm not at first here, you guys. Mitch likes dude voice ladies. <laughs> and that's uh, me. But no, like you know, like some some women have a higher pitched voice, and it's just like kind of like nails on the chalkboard. Monica's isn't that isn't that high pitch, and it's easier for me to listen to the things that she has to say. And pretend like I care about he it. He still doesn't take them seriously, but he listens to them. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so Monica, all that shit Monica plugs. and I had the best time when we were on the road. I know, you actually. I, that's what I kind of have here as like, topics to possibly talk about. You will never about. have <laughs> with Monica what I had with Monica. Oh, really? Do you this understand that? No, there's, a, there's another competition in this podcast between Mitch and I. That I, I think you know what it is. Yeah, I did. I read Monica, it. you know, I mean, you guys are doing this cute thing with your voices. Like, we did video. I know. Do you, you understand get, yeah. that? We did you video together. You guys did 30 together. second videos. No, they were about a minute, 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 minute and a half. Yeah. yeah. Called the Daily Dabble. You guys should check it out on YouTube. I mean, don't expect any new episodes though, because it's not going to happen. We just so. did one recently. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> son of a biscuit. <laughs> we actually did one on Instagram. That's the worst. So that one was 15 seconds. <laughs> it was it was fun. Uh, just bringing the team back together, you know. Like Monica just feels like she has this void that hasn't been filled since I'm gone. I'm just here to Yoko Ono the shit out of YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tear this thing apart piece by piece. I have a penny in my pocket. That's fun. All right. Um. So you guys on the road? How long were you guys on the road for? Well, Mitch was on the a road week. for months, but you two were together for a week. For ten a, days, yeah. Was it ten days? Mm-hmm. Wow, you didn't remember. Ten oh, glorious man. days. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch didn't remember how long he was with Monica for. Drop That's probably a way the to bucket, driving the Prius around for him. Oh That's yeah, did why. you have Charlie with you, your doggy too? Not when we were together. Oh yeah, I left him with my grandparents during that time because we were uh, staying with a bunch of people, um, and then hotels and stuff. Like I just I didn't want to didn't want to worry about it. Yeah. Because sometimes you go on the road with people and they let, just let your dogs run around a hotel because they forget to close the door. What? How you did that? <laughs> I did that. I, just, I forgot about that. You that was out in the hotel. That was, that was just the Charlie. Weekend. <laughs> yeah, that's the weekend you, you shit your pants. In, I didn't shit my pants at the in comedy y- club, man. I said I almost did, and I told you that in a text message in confidence. Laugh Lounge. And then Laugh Lounge. Every, all the people at Yakima know I have irritable bowel syndrome. It's so rude. I no, honestly, that buffet, it's not your fault. That after the, after worst. the show, and I looked at the text message again. I truly felt bad 
for announcing on stage that you shit your pants when you said you almost shit your pants. I just, I thought... You thought bad? I read it wrong. You know what? I'm surprised. You telling me you felt bad is a really big step for us. (laughs) (laughs) Especially right now. But yeah, I let your dog out on uh, on accident. Dog's out on accident. I felt really bad. Yeah. Did I have both of them with me? You did have both of them. Because because you... uh, well, that's so the, the one. The one wasn't mine. It was my ex girlfriend's, and uh, for whatever reason, uh, he came with me. Oh, you want to talk about people having a good time together? It's all coming back to me now. When you and I went to go play disc really golf, and then that same park, it had that that creek, and we had the yeah. dogs out there, and they were just like running around. Quick, like, man, that was a fun time. And everyone at that park probably thought, Monica, we were an I see what you're doing. <laughs> see and, what uh, you're not going to tear me and Michael apart. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a beautiful relationship. Now I have. I, I feel like now I got to choose like which one of y'all I actually like better. I mean, we know it's Monica, Welcome but like I feel. World. Watch out for, the, for this platonic friend triangle we have going on. It's getting gross. <laughs> no, we played disc golf. That was fun. And then uh, we like because you had the dogs on your belt and they yeah. were like wandering around, and like, I was like walking next to you, and I'm like. Everyone in this park thinks we're like a gay couple and these are our kids. And I'm if, like, if fine that with were it. the I'm case, I'm fine with it. <laughs> I'm totally fine with it. If that were the it's case, beautiful. you would have had one of the dogs on your belt buckle. Oh. Yeah. Because we would have been equal partners. I would have totally put that dog on my belt buckle. Yep, I know. That's a that's a that's a euphemism for a wedding. Also, <laughs> if we were a gay couple, our dogs would have been trained much better and they would have just walked beside us without a leash. Oh yeah. It's probably illegal in Yakima though. No, that that place was gay? like it was just Dude, like <laughs> Do you remember when we saw the dog and the guy get <laughs> Oh wait! Yeah, we got to we have to acknowledge Monica on that. Did that you was, make fun of me? <laughs> you're like it was probably illegal in Yakima. What to be gay? <laughs> I, I heard it. It was it was one. The listeners heard that, and then they're like, Mike's time I say stuff and then laugh at it, and he doesn't notice. So it's I don't know, because I, I'm bad. Anyway, you you threw your hands up in the air and sl- slammed them on your face. The funny thing that happened on the way home. After we got Taco oh, Bell. Oh, the big dog. The big the guy. Oh my this, God. this cop pulls over this guy. We're like, why did he get pulled over? And there's a giant dog on his lap. Like like Beethoven size. Yeah. He's he's driving. Driving. Like He's a Saint Ben a Saint Bernard <laughs> in this guy's lap, hanging his head out Can the window as the cop is writing the guy a ticket. Yeah, and the <laughs> cop's like sitting there and the dog's like sniffing his chest. <laughs> He's like, I can't move him. Do you know why I pulled you over? <laughs> like, uh, really being like super cute, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Two hundred pound fur ball on your <laughs> chest. Oh my gosh! You did it. You you did it on stage a little bit. I did it on stage a little bit. Yeah, like once or twice, right? Just I never did it. Figure it out. I was working on it. Yeah, I was still working on it actually. It yeah. was a. It was. It's a it good was just story. a funny moment. Yeah. It was a funny life moment with Mitch. Just a. F- As we go I'm not gonna touch you. It was like a two. <laughs> it was like a two hundred pound dog. Yeah. Just boom. <laughs> It was fun though, but okay. But back to you guys' road trip. I got just I, I want to talk about it. I yeah. want to talk about it because you guys went all over the fun. south, or did you guys just go in? Uh, did you guys just go to the eastern United States, Florida? starting around uh, Atlanta, where we didn't have a show, but we did go to a really weird strip club. And and we ta- also I wanna, went I to a that. moose lodge or whatever that was for oh, a good God, yeah. two hours. <laughs> where, a moose lodge? Yeah, yeah, you're supposed to be a member, and we there. It said online that there was an open mic there, and we get there, and there's no one. We under haven't 60. done comedy here in six months, right? And and they were like, "We'll just sign you in. You guys can hang out." And so we were just like hanging out with all these people. It was kind of scary. Moose lodge, moose lodge, like these aren't known for having people our age as like uh, members either. So it was all like dudes in their like late forties. Early fifties and like the women who ride on the back of their motorcycles, like people. Oh, like that. so yeah. it was kind of like a biker gang, but not really. It, it was, was like the just, nicest biker gang. It was just kind of trashy. It was weird because you know there's a, there's a couple <laughs> comics here that wanted to do a show at an Eagles Lodge, and they all had to join the Eagles Lodge. And I'm like, what does that take? And they're like, twenty five bucks. What? <laughs> it takes. I performed at an Eagle Club uh, two nights ago. We're here? No, in Hayden, <laughs> Idaho. Oh yeah, so you were like you went to Hayden. So you just go, what, how far is Hayden, Idaho? It's like four hours. And then you just drove back that night or you drove back the next day? I came back the next day. They provided a hotel and That's everything. Nice. Albert Kircher and I went because I invited Monica and she couldn't go. So I had to oh, reach so out to somebody yeah. else. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just reach out to Albert. Yeah. I didn't know <laughs> if you would be available. I was out of town. I was yeah, <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> Let that guy come in and shit in his pants all over the place. That's right. You shit your pants in Hayden Idaho, they'll arrest you. <laughs> Albert almost got his beat up. Uh, really? <laughs> yes. Uh, he had he had gone somewhere. He and uh, I was sitting on my phone, and somebody like threw a piece of paper, and then threw like an ice cube. 
at me while I'm on my phone, and they're behind me, so I didn't see who it was. Albert comes back, and I was just like, hey, man, uh, look behind me, and if you see somebody throw something, let me know who it is. And before anything <laughs> else happened, Albert goes, I know who it was, and he got up and he walked over to these two dudes. Only it wasn't two dudes, it was actually three dudes, because <laughs> he didn't see the other one. And he like says something, and then they start yelling at him, so I'm like, Jesus Christ. So I get up and I walk over there, and uh, I was like, hey, man. Uh, I'm I'm gonna take my buddy over here, and they were like, "You're about to get your ass kicked." Is what's about to happen, and I was like, "I don't really know how I feel about that." <laughs> <laughs> and then this, uh, the third dude walks up, and he's got like really crazy eyes, and he's like, "I'm gonna kill you, and then I'm gonna fuck your pussy." And I was like, "Whoa, fella! Like this seems that's like, an Idaho thing to say." Yeah, right. And then uh. Like, I, I was like, uh, you, you know, they started yelling at Albert again, and I kind of, like, stood in between them and Albert, uh-huh. and that the crazy guy that threatened to have sex with my vagina <laughs> said, are you willing to get your ass kicked for this dude? And I was like, yeah, man, if I got to. And he was like, why? And I was like, because he's my friend. And he goes, <laughs> I respect that. And they just walked away. And I was like, oh, my God, that worked. Okay, and cool. And then they were just like, hug life. Yeah. Well, <laughs> like, life. that's the best hug No, actually, started. on the way out, the crazy one looked at Albert and was like, I'll find you. And then just <laughs> left. And Albert was like, we can't leave the bar tonight. <laughs> oh, Albert. <laughs> that's a very Albert thing. I wonder what he said to them, though. Like, what, to make hey, did you get... guys throw <laughs> ice at my friend? I can't imagine being like, you motherfuckers stripped up this time. And he's like, pulls out a knife. You ever, oh. seen, you ever seen the movie Belly? No. Yeah. The oh. opening scene of Belly, when they're walking through the club. You, you know what I'm talking about? I don't remember. I All right, it's the, greatest, it's the greatest <laughs> well, intro. Movie, but... It's the greatest intro for any movie ever. And they're like walking through this club. When we first walked into a bar, that is how Albert walked through <laughs> the bar he was just like walking by people and pushing them out of his way and he had no like he was a completely different person that night something in the air in the Hayden Idaho or in his drinks got, yeah or in his drinks, <laughs> in his drinks. <laughs> Albert's like, I was just taking steroids for a weekend he had been <laughs> drinking whiskey for like four days straight wow so and not sleeping much so he becomes a little southern devil when he does that. Why does it got to be southern? Because he was with you. No, that's not. I was the one, I was the southern gentleman. You're the southern bell that was preventing bad things from happening. Southern bell. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Mitch is my little southern bell. That's a that's, woman. That's what I. Yep, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. I know you don't like that when people refer to the South as stupid or like do a dumb southern accent, right? Right. I agree with you. Thanks. Yeah. Just talk about things. Okay, That's cool. Friends agree with? Yeah, go ahead. Bells. Step on it. What are you going to do? What are you going to say now? Nothing. I'll fucking kill you. This is a positive I got, attitude. You know, I don't I like all people fucking out Yankees there angry. talking shit. What? Have no, you, they aren't. Dude, how much, how much whiskey have you had in the last four days? <laughs> <laughs> I just, it's such a horrible Hack. stereotype. Yeah, whatever. It's totally I hard. mean, they are, but we don't need to keep saying it over and over what? again. They are what? All stupid and racist. I get it. I spent some I more time say, there recently. I will say, like <laughs> having, I, that's the most time I've spent down there. I had been to the south <clears throat> a few different times, but for basketball, which is different. We never really talked to anybody. Um, but being down there, like everybody was really like the hospitality thing is like true. Like and, everybody's super nice. And, and what was the other thing? The women take care of themselves better. Like they try to look. Which actually is kind of a sexist thing, I think. But they try to like they why, present themselves. Okay, why, why are you why are you flipping now? Why are you fl- you've been back in the Pacific North? You back in Seattle? I for agreed a with while. you that they took like they presented why themselves. Do you, better. Why do you have to follow it up with which is kind of a sexist thing? Because that's, why I, cause why that's what I thought. The why whole can't time? it just be like the women want to look nice? Why is that sexist? Men like to look. I I started putting gel in my hair and combing it so why? that it'll look better. Why? Wait, that's not sexist. That's just me. No. Why did better. you start doing that? Um, because when I was at Hair Masters, the woman asked me if I wanted her to put gel in it, and okay. she did, and it looked cool. Okay. I'm just saying, like, I like as a woman, you wouldn't like. I don't see them being like, oh, I'm gonna look good just because, like. Men around here, societal pressures tell you to. Yeah, yeah. I, and I, so I think the pressure there is different than it is here. That's what I'm saying. But I agreed with you completely. I do think that there was beautiful women there who like presented themselves all the time, which actually in other countries they do that too. Like when you walk, like I went to Spain. When you walk around in Spain, like you need to look good. You like, remember all the Abigail? Time. Man, 
Abby Burrow. Yeah. <laughs> Abby Burrow. What's Abby Burrow? She works or at this uh, little outdoor bar. Off the hook. Where? Off the hook. <laughs> she works at Off the Hook. If you're if you're Panama listening, Panama City, Florida. Is it fishing themed? If you're listening, Abby, I just want you to know I still think about you. <laughs> uh, she she was our server at a place. It was just an outdoor bar, and they had probably the best damn hamburger or cheeseburger I've ever eaten. It was really good. Was good. Hold up a second. And she had blonde hair. She looked like a bustier Hayden Penitary. You can't just throw out best hamburger and expect me not to pay attention, like have questions really? about That's it. That's what you want to focus yeah, on, I not mean, the know, bustier Abby, Hayden Abby, Penitary? Hey, Abby, can you hold off a second? <laughs> so what made this burger great? <laughs> What do you I think, yeah, you know, I don't know. Like, for all I know, they were microwaving it because yeah, it wasn't like a I don't know they, it, burger. It, it might have been made means. on, but on on like a George Foreman grill. But it tasted so good. You know, why I ask why because we do a feel good food review. Oh yeah. Oh is, really? And this is the feel good food review. Is the off the hook burger uh, from yeah. off Florida? Ooh, I don't know if I want to g- give it off the hook. Well, no, I mean you can do it. Like you can give it to multiple Man. people. Okay. We Plus, just review it. We just review it. I just want to know what the burger is like. Well, the burger you know, was good. I feel like though with food, the atmosphere is everything. You want to know? It was a really. You cool want to know what like. it was? You know? You want to know what I will attribute it to? Did Abby lick it? Monica <laughs> Nevy. Every moment I that was spent me, not Monica with my. <laughs> 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 Every moment that I spent with my good friend Monica Nevy on the road was the best moment up Food to that point. Food tasted better. The weather was warmer. The sun was out. There were dolphins swimming. We, there were dolphins. Oh, my God. So, boobs. yeah. So, after the dolphin thing, then we go to the beach. And yeah. as soon as I, like, <laughs> as soon as I, like, go underwater, there's, a there's like, a sea rays, like, swimming down underneath me and and it's then crazy. monica started getting like what were you calling them the feet, feet fucking feet fish, fucking fish? <laughs> the florida feet, feet fucking fish because they oh I they don't, just like they like wouldn't leave her me, feet alone but they kept there was all these little fish that kept like nibbling on my feet and they, they didn't hurt like if i just stood there and t- <laughs> it but been it, five, it was, was so creepy. annoying like they were all over he was like <laughs> using the, the fucking snorkel mask to just watch them like nibble <laughs> like on my mess feet. with her feet it was pretty funny because they were not they were not bothering me at all and they were just like like 10 of them like swimming around her feet and like doing little fish kisses on her feet it was pretty awesome and she you just see her foot like every now and then it's like ah like like paddling back and forth like running back and forth basically like trying to get them away from the, the, the right now the title contest for this episode is feet fi- feet, feet fucking feet fish fucking florida, florida feet, feet, fucking florida fucking fish. feet fucking fish four f's although i learned if we put a swear word in the title that it gets censored in itunes it'll do like the stars uh, stars yeah mm. we might just have to go florida feet fi- florida fish feet kisses <laughs> Ooh, mm. kisses, kisses. Florida feet fist and fish. <laughs> <laughs> we fisting, did have a fist fisting did not get censored when we put it in the title <laughs> of the podcast, <laughs> so that fist. might be possible. Uh-huh. <laughs> Lightly fisting my feet, these fish from Florida. <laughs> no, that I think everything. I feel like that's what happens when you become older too. Is you find moments now in your life where you're like, "This is a perfect moment." And I'm, just, I'm trying to think it. of like, to soak it all like let, let me kind of go through it. So the first night was in Atlanta when I picked her up at the airport <laughs> and uh, Jake Head, who's a funny comedian in, Jake. in Atlanta, he was like, yeah, uh, well, I guess I was kind of like pushing to know what this strip club was called that people go to when they're there. And he was like, oh, the Claremont, it's really bad. And we were like, cool. So we went <laughs> <laughs> on our way. And it, was, <laughs> it was horrible, but they still smoke inside there. And Monica had never had a cigarette inside that's a lie but we used that to it, talk you, to those girls oh was it a lie yeah, yeah. it worked but it worked and, we, and there used, was, we ended up using it for the rest of the time yeah, that is true too hey my friends never smoked a cigarette indoors before you think you can bum her one she doesn't even smoke right now but it, we just want to have the experience so every state that did that and everyone's like hell yeah <laughs> <laughs> but this these two girls uh who are like production assistants in atlanta on movies and tv shows uh, we're like just hanging out and, uh, we, we just kind of struck up this conversation and they took us to another bar, uh, <coughs> excuse me. And we just wound up like hanging out with these two girls all night, all night long, uh, drove to Mobile, Alabama the next day. <laughs> that one, we just check into the hotel and I was like, Hey, is there anything cool going on? We got about five hours until our show. And they're like, yeah, there's a beer festival, which was on the same street as our show. And this was $25 <laughs> a ticket. What? There were 23 different bars, and you could go to all of them and get three sample beers at each one. So basically a shot of beer or a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But after three, four hours of that, we were 
Ham boned? Oh man, it was oh, awesome. Yeah. That sounds amazing. It was so fun. That we was went swimming cool. in the this pool man that was night. Playing a saxophone. It was great. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about <laughs> right? the saxophone so guy. <laughs> uh, so from Mobile, Alabama, we went, we went to uh, Panama City, Florida, which was where the dolphin and stuff happened. In then we can we tell that story? What? Just about you saying that, because that was so funny. <laughs> we were sitting at that bar, and it was really fun, and she was really nice, and her boobs were out, so we in were just Abby? talking. Abby? Were we talking about yeah. Abby? We it's, were just talking the about The sun how is so shiny. Like, the wind is kind of blowing. <laughs> I think that's is your hair there's, blowing there's in the wind? There's lavender she had, like, in the air. like, a dreadlock type smell. thing going on, so they didn't really blow. Mm, but, her boobs uh, were all shiny? Yes. God, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but that's when we started talking about, like, how... They're really nice down there. Like, she was really nice. Yeah, she and was so, so nice. He asked her, he was like, what's your name? And she's like, Abby. And as she walks away, he goes, Abigail Burrow. <laughs> like, <laughs> I look at him like, what the fuck? And he was like, oh, I do that. <laughs> do you want to start a relationship with someone and then they can't take your last name because it sounds ridiculous? Bro. You have to think about that. <laughs> she, everything Mitch was perfect. Coletta. <laughs> So you just did it, Mike by Burrow. the way. <laughs> Mike Burrow. No, Mike Burrow doesn't sound too bad. So later that night, it was don't, so don't, funny. don't walk over this. Oh, no, you need to. You, you need okay, to go, okay, we'll keep later well that first night. of all, I told him how weird that was that he did that. I was like, <laughs> do you, why you can't say he, that out loud? He whispered under his breath to you, like, Abigail. I was just like, Abigail. No, he Burrow. said it like to me, like just like Abby Abigail Burrow. Burrow. Yeah. <laughs> I and want, I like Monica that he, needed we to went be from Abby to. Abigail. Yeah, like he was with the just, full name. I gave her right a over. Christian name in that mm-hmm. one. Oh, God. Okay, so yeah, what happened so at next? the show that night, <laughs> he's like talking to the crowd. <laughs> Can you just. Yeah, so it? I was like, hey, what's your name? And uh, she was like, Tiffany. And I was like, Tiffany Burrow. <laughs> and I am dying. And like, no one else really reacts to it. And people were like, what? And I was like, yeah, you know, like, I just, I do that. So, like, when I, like, <laughs> talk, like, I'll know if, like, things work out. You, Your last name, my last name would sound good with your first name. Do a little bit more time. And then, and then like, so everyone's forgot. I'm like, uh, blah, blah, blah. Hey, what's your name? Like, uh. Uh, Karen. I was like, Karen Burrow. <laughs> and she was older, so it got funnier at that yeah. point. People were like, oh, ha, ha, ha. So then it was like, keep, it keeps on going a little <laughs> bit. And uh, this dude, like, starts heckling a little bit, like, saying stuff. And I was like, man, you're funny. What's your name? And he's like, Tim. And I was like, Tim Burrow. <laughs> and, and the it, place it erupted. It was so funny. Oh, my God. And that's the only time I did it until recently. And it works for the Jubal Fla- uh, the Jubal Secret Show. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, but yeah. what made this one that. so good is that the show was split up. So oh, we yeah. all did like <laughs> I did like ten minutes then, on the early part of the show. Somebody else comes out. Then later I did five minutes at the end of the show. So it was like a thirty minute wait. And then you did it again. <laughs> and it again. as soon as I went up on stage. I was like saying, I was like, that's a pretty cool idea, huh? And the guy was like, yeah, man. I was like, what's your name, man? And he's like, Thor. And I was like, Thor Burrow. <laughs> it was like the perfect name. And it was full in Tacoma Comedy Club, and the whole place just erupted. Awesome. And I was like, ah. like you're on to something here. It was here. just one of those moments in life that feels so good. And I was in one of those moods because I went to that show where he did it the first time, and no one reacts to it the first time. And I'm in the back like, yes, he's going to do it. Just like yelling, like, yes, yes he's going to do it. As soon as, like, no somebody told him. me, like, as soon as I got up on stage for my second set, Monica was like, no, 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 no. You got to watch. 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 It was so funny. So what did you guys do after Abby? After Abigail Burrow? <laughs> so from oh, Panama no, City, like, we actually, uh, there, there was a change in plans. We were going to just go hang out at my grandparents oh, yeah. for a day and rest. But she had uh, got in touch with her her brother, uh, found out he was in uh, Charlotte for a little bit uh, longer before we moved. And there was a show that I could get her on. Actually, we got we both got on. So we went there. Nothing really eventful other than just hanging out with her brother and having a really good time. The Mosh? The Mosh. The Mosh. Um, there, was a, the mosh. there was a cool <laughs> bar. We, uh, Monica and I, fucking dominated at Cornhole. Hell yeah. We're so good at it now. That's the game where you throw the beanbag through the plank with the uh-huh. holes in it, right? Yeah. I've never played it and I've always wanted to. Super good. Then the next day, did we have a day off? We went to hang out with my cousin. Yeah, we went to return. Uh, so my cousin, on our way up to Indianapolis, we stopped at a... At my cousin's place in Kentucky, and he took us to another strip club uh, called like the Manhattan or something, but it's referred to as the Shitty Titty. The shitty titty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> um, <laughs> where it had just been reopened because someone had gotten shot there like <laughs> yeah, two weeks before. <laughs> nice. My cousin also tells the story of how he rode his motorcycle there one night uh, after being in the strip club for a few hours, walked out uh, through his leg. <laughs> over the motorcycle to get on and proceeded to just continue going that direction and <laughs> fell on the ground <laughs> and went, I'm catching a cab. <laughs> uh, and, then, and then, so we went from the strip club that night to another bar. <laughs> they also had cornhole and we totally dominated in yeah. Kentucky too. Is that a southern drinking area thing? Like a game that happens at the, bar, the bars? Oh, they had a, like, just in the, the south, like, you can... You can hang outside yeah. a lot more. Because I've gone to bars that play horseshoes, and that's fun, too. That, I do like horseshoes. Horseshoes Because here it's always, game. like, inside shuffleboard games or I don't mind shuffleboard. I don't... Yeah, I, I like bar games. I like bar games, too. Ladder ball. Dude, I'm What's so good. ladder ball? It's PVC. It's three, like, PVC pipes. Uh, and then you have these two balls with a string in between them. And you throw them. Kind of like uh, that, like old like a bird bola thing where it like wraps around. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you do that to the to the PVC pipe, and you get points that way. That's awesome. When you said PVC, I was like player versus computer. Like I got really nerdy for a second. But yeah, that's about, for that's a about, second, huh? for a second, just <laughs> yeah, a bit. Well, now I'm like straight up back to being all dude style yeah, cool guy. Go back dude to style dude style cool guy. guy. <laughs> dude style cool guy. Dude style cool guy. So uh, <laughs> you guys are really good at cornhole. Then we we actually went to uh, Indianapolis. Did a show there where we proceeded to do the ice bucket challenge at the venue. Mm -hmm. Saw that. Uh, And then drove the next day to uh, Louisville, Kentucky for our very last show, uh, to which Monica uh, was furious because she couldn't do her hair. (laughs) Oh, yeah. She was so... I've never seen her so upset. Why couldn't you not do your hair? What happened? Because there was no... The bathroom was just like a single stall. Uh... She couldn't plug her, her whatever her stuff that her. girls use to make themselves look pretty. She couldn't use yeah, any of girls it. Girls use it. Yeah. She just had to look like regular old Monica. It's terrible. Regular old Monica looks pretty good. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> that was try, a terrible high five. Try try looking at that for ten days. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else. You're like Monica. You could take a ha- play out of the handbook of all the women in the <laughs> South here. <laughs> You know, I would like, never say that. A play out of the handbook? Yeah, not just no sports references no, I would, into him. No, I would just <laughs> never say that to her. I know. Everywhere we went, Monica was the most beautiful woman there. Yeah, except for Abby. Except for Abby. Mm. And most of the other women I talked to. <laughs> Mitch Nevy. <laughs> <laughs> My cousin's name is Mitchell. There's I, already a Mitchell Nevy. I've seen that on the Facebook. Mm-hmm. When we're looking at all your family members, which <laughs> brings us to the next topic. Okay. You and I Yes, are related. Are fighting. I wish <laughs> uh, we're fighting for Pam Nevy's affection. Did you know that? I'm but not fighting winning. for anything. <laughs> <you're winning. laughs> I would. So him and Cameron were arguing kind of about who she likes more, and I would kind of had to give it to Cameron. But in my head, I thought like, oh, Mitch should probably be in this battle too. He made a phone call to her on his own. <laughs> it was pretty we late. Were we, were, we were drunk, <laughs> North Carolina. Yeah, with my brother. And he's on the phone just talking to her. <laughs> I don't know. How did you answer the phone? Mm. She was like, hey, is that my little baby? And you're like, <laughs> you, it's Mitch. <laughs> uh, I can't remember, but I did she say something about, I'm here with your favorite child. He said, here. Yeah, gave it to your brother. <laughs> you want to talk to your kids? And he's like, I'll give it to your favorite. And I looked at him and I said, he's going to give it to you. <laughs> and then she handed it to Mosh and I was like, good. All right, well, that was supposed to be a segment about who loves us more Pam like who does Pam love more but I think it, I'm it just clearly that goes that's to Mitch it easily goes to Mitch to, you know why because I've never, never met Pam <laughs> but he talks talk. about her on every podcast she's a good person she seems she's like a great best. person she, yeah, she helps out with the charities she's of her, awesome of her daughter and uh, and her daughter's friends yep thank you Pam he did say all three <laughs> She did say, well, okay, tell all three of my kids that I love them. Like That's when what I got it was. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. pretty awesome. Yep. Well, now uh, that's the we go on to the next portion of our podcast, which is good news. Okay, we yeah. We good news stories. What do you got for me? All right, this one, uh, <laughs> you, you look so excited. Am I getting booked somewhere? Right. Give me some good news. <laughs> good news. Um, this is a confusing uh, title, but I'm going to see what you guys think it is. Toronto's first street store, a success. For street store, you know what a street store what is, is? A street store. What do you think a street store is, Mitch? Um, it's a place where you can buy like manhole covers and road <laughs> signs. <laughs> it's a very good That's guess. A good one. That's good. What street, do you think it is? Street store. I don't know. Would it just be like a store on the street, like outside? 
Like a no. kiosk, maybe? That's what I thought. I'm like, why is this good news? How about a like hint? The, like the Just kiosk a at Hug Central It Station. involves um, a certain kind of charity. Like it's like a, like a certain kind of charity. Like a street, like homeless people? No. Do you want me to tell you what it is? Yeah. yeah. I'm to tell you. <laughs> yeah. It's not hookers. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's not <laughs> hookers. From the member live number audience. one of Mitch's entourage. It's not hookers. <laughs> member number only. <laughs> <laughs> so a, street, a Toronto street store is when people donate clothes to a charity. In this case, it was a church in so Toronto. So it's like Goodwill, but everything's free. And oh. You, it's it's like a store, wow. so it's not like you're giving it people. What happens is a person comes inside, a salesperson comes and helps you, and they fit you for everything, and they help you find the right size, and they have tons of kids close to, so whole families will come in that are in need, and they'll get everything fit for them right, and they'll have like a sales experience, and then they go to the checkout, and they're like, you're good. How do they... So it's everything's donated. How is the space? Like, how do they pay for the space? The is space it a is donated. Thing, or is it the coffee's donated. There's Everything coffee. was donated. Like, a local coffee shop donated coffee. Canada's doing it right Canada's now. killing it. And, the cool, and, the, and there's all these touching stories underneath okay. about how a guy came in and his sneakers were soaked through and then he got a brand new pair of thermal boots that fit him perfectly. Or how there were the guy was looking for a winter coat. And he was, and they were all sold out of coats. And then later remembered that it was in the trunk of her car, and she gave it to him, and it fit perfectly. Oh like everything. Was I like want to hear the story where it just didn't work out. <laughs> it just didn't work out. <laughs> and like then like this guy came fits. looking for a brand new video game, and it wasn't there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he was really upset. <laughs> Uh, I'm looking for an Xbox One. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's a cool idea because it makes it. I guess what they're trying to do is make it so it's more personalized to the like person getting the gift. And like there was a story of a mom and a kid who came in. And the kid didn't want to go in the store. Like, he was scared. They're like, we have cookies. And then he came in. <laughs> <laughs> so that kid's a lot like me. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I thought it was a cool idea for a, uh, for a, like, a charity kind of thing. Because uh, you, you, you hear thrift stores and you hear places that go, like, soup kitchen and donate it. But, like, having a person that volunteers their time to help you find things that fit you. Right. It is way more helpful. Because well, if you get a pair of shoes for free and you're here's, shitty, here's the thing. it's going like, to hurt your feet. I, com- compare it to Goodwill. I, d- I don't think Goodwill is a very good A lot good of people don't think Goodwill is a good corporation. And that's, or a Salvation Army. And a, a, my main problem is that everything they have is given to them, and then they, they charge the prices that they do. Like, I mean, where, I, they, they say it's all, like, most of their stuff goes towards, like, job training for employees, but mm, I don't have any, like, statistical data to back this up. I just think they're greedy. I think they're making a lot of profit, and uh, and not really giving back to the community. Well, and I, that's the thing. That's why you got to be careful with charities. And I kind of wanted to go over this on a different podcast. I was thinking about it because they had a lot of things where like these are the charities that you give money to, and this is actually where your money's going. Right, yeah. yeah, and it's like admin costs, and it's like eighty percent of their donations, Some and then twenty percent like, is actually giving. Like right. thirty cents of your dollar going to the charity is high. Yeah, and there's a guy. Look, look up. I'm sure I'm not saying anything people haven't heard before but look up like salaries of ceos for a lot of these charities like uh red i think red cross is actually good but like goodwill um i don't know a lot of charities (laughs) (laughs) i wouldn't even (laughs) but if you look up like charity organization ceos some of them are making insane amounts of money Right. And it, it kind of like t- to me, it takes a- away from what they're doing, which is a completely different viewpoint than I had a couple years ago. Oh, you know the uh, you know the website Snopes? Yeah, it's the one that has like it does, they have an article on it. I'm going to read it right now, but we're going to go to a different topic while I read it, so that way we're not just okay. having dead air. Uh, cool. <laughs> well, I think that's cool. No, because like um, <clears throat> Salvation Army and Goodwill and stuff, they they do ch- still charge for that stuff, and honestly, it's not that much cheaper. So I kind of like that idea of it just being free. If people are just giving it to them, then they should just yeah, like give it give it away. To right? People yeah, and who it's need it. and it's easier that way than digging through a bunch of donated shit if it's actually the only kind of read this actually, only idea. only read the Snopes article if it agrees with what I said. Actually, it does. Okay. Um, uh, it's I want to keep in mind it was written in 2010, and the worst offender for the 11th year in a row is UNICEF CEO. He receives one point. Two million dollars per year, Shit. and every dollar you donate 
towards that ten uh, cents. fourteen cents. Fourteen. Wow. Jesus. And um, income. That's income dollars. So I'm guessing that means that whatever dollars they use to cover their costs, and then income dollars after that fourteen cents oh, of right. the charity. Okay. And then Re- American Red Cross, which I've heard before, he makes six hundred and fifty-one thousand dollars plus expenses. And I wonder what the CEO of that company really does. Like, I wouldn't. Yeah, I mean, well, that's what the thing is. Expenses. I'm like, it's, a, it's, a it's gotta be mostly a uh, like publicity position. I'm guessing, yeah, right? Like, yeah. you're the spokesman of the company. Like, and I'm guessing things are run by no, a board. I mean, you have the decisions do still have to be made. Like, you want a qualified person running these organizations to make sure that because so like a CEO, they it's just like any, it, it all kind of like trickles down from where like okay, he has his position, then he hires the people to go to the different regions, then they right. have people for blah, blah, blah. So he's he's a decision maker on on the organization of the company and also probably sets, like, the vision and the mission statement and, and stuff like that. You you want someone who is qualified to do their job, and maybe that's the problem. You can't, because people are not good, you can't find someone who's qualified to run a very huge organization like that without giving them a bunch of money. Which it, that shouldn't be the case. Yeah. yeah. Well, here's an. I was talking crap about the Salvation Army, and I was actually wrong. The Salvation Army's commissioner, as of 2010, received a salary of only thirteen thousand dollars per year plus housing for managing his two billion dollar organization. That's wow. pretty good. Holy shit. Yeah, which means ninety three percent per dollar. Earned what is what is his charity. income again? That's awesome. Uh, thirteen thousand dollars a year with free housing. With free housing. I want to know what kind of house he lives in. <laughs> He's just like in a giant mansion. Yeah. That is. Yeah. Cool, uh, and that costs like also, billions of dollars. So that's, that's, that's his salary. Still, what about bonuses? So is he getting a thirteen thousand dollar a year salary and then like stock options or some kind of bonus that's just insane that puts him up to a million dollars a year? Know. I'll email Todd Bassett. Though, yeah, let's CEO find out what's the, going on. The commi- wanna, he's the commissioner, know, too. I want to get to the bottom of this. I mean, I would have to like know more about their involvement in everything and just like the what makes them look good. I work for a nonprofit, and I know our CEO is very involved, and like he is one of... I don't know, but that's very different for us. He's hasn't been there for too long, but he does a great job. He talks to everyone like on like a child care level like he knows you and it's a huge organization like mm-hmm. the third largest when in you the said, country when you said he talks to everyone on a child care level I thought you mean like he talks to everyone like they're fucking idiots <laughs> <laughs> like they're five years old no he's always very Monica. like appreciative of the people who actually work with the kids but he yeah. like runs this whole organization and he's very involved in like but people and they commented all on, on it all the time and that that's different than a lot of other CEOs and nonprofits. Like what that, is your? So. Oh, you don't talk about it. Yeah, I can't. I don't like to. He's say not that allowed to talk about it. It's fine. Um, but Monica's a good person who works for a nonprofit. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> With kids uh, now nice. we're gonna move on to the next one because we're running out of time, which is fine. I just get worried of. Uh, How long are these episodes? An hour. But we. I, I, the reason I keep it to an hour is not necessarily because it, if it runs long, it's a big deal. It's because of file size and uploading to the website, which I don't know much about. I shouldn't say that on the podcast, but that's the reason <laughs> why. Anyway, this is a good story. Uh, drones for good. I'll pick this because Mitch was in the military and I was curious to see what he thinks about drones beginning. But um, drones for good, it's a flying ambulance toolkit. So in Europe, there's an ambulance wait time of 10 minutes. So what this guy, Alec Momont, is trying to do, I think that's how you pronounce it, is he's taking miniature kits with automatic defibrillators, like no instructions needed, put the plates on the, or the sticky things on their chest, and that's don't, a, that's a technical term. <laughs> yeah, don't touch them that have all this emergency equipment in them and you can fly them to the person and it'll take about one minute versus an ambulance that takes about um, 10 minutes and it says it'll increase the chance of survival from 8%, it could, to 80%. <coughs> like heart attack people. It's really, it's focusing on cardiac arrest. Okay. But it flies these cool ambulance drones. As, as an overweight person? Yes. Uh, you think it's great? Heart disease could <laughs> become an issue. I think this is an outstanding idea. Yeah, it's in Europe though. It's not in America yet. But well, So you're going to move to France? Uh, yeah, ma- well, not not France. That's gross. But <laughs> England, England, England? Yeah. England's oh, a pretty yeah. fun place. Yeah, England's my family's from there. Or I would go to Spain. I've been to Spain before. Spain's mm-hmm. great. Yeah, it was. You want to cool. run with the bulls with me? I uh, I danced with a woman that looked like uh, Shakira. Really? It was amazing. Were you like Shakira? Shakira? I did call her Shakira a few times. <laughs> <laughs> and then she hit me and she walked away and she never came no, back. She, <laughs> she didn't really speak English that that well. It was one of the first times where I made a connection with someone who didn't speak the same language as me. 
Body was, language. Was the language yeah. of love. <laughs> the language of love. <laughs> bounce, bounce. You're like Shakira Burrow. <laughs> <laughs> Can that be the name of the, the Shakira Burrow? <laughs> that's the name of the podcast. Okay. Yeah. That's it. That's way better. Well, that's way better. But it, fucking fish coming. It, um, <laughs> Shakira Burrow. <laughs> so yeah, it's in Europe. It's cool. I like the idea. I think it's cool using drones for good. It makes the drones not look so terrible all the time. <laughs> Although these drones are different. These drones look like what, gigantic what do RC drones helicopters. drones look terrible for? Dropping bombs on stuff? Because we also use them for surveillance. Well, I know. They're the same well, drone. Yeah, and Amazon's trying to use them for delivering Well, they're stuff. using these helicopter drones, though. They're not using and high-speed jets. A lot of people <laughs> are using them to like make really cool uh, high-definition videos. Yeah. But those are all, again, the helicopter <coughs> drones. I think, the I think drones are awesome. Are you think drones are awesome? About. Yeah. Okay. Let's just no, I don't disagree with you. Let's I just have blow no up stuff, so. man. Let's just let's blow shit up. Embrace it. And then let's all hang out here. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is the only are place we, that really matters. We We're going to do the quiz, and I'm excited for this quiz, because Mitch and I have a thing we both love, and Mitch doesn't know I love it yet. And I told you. <coughs> and I, Monica I told, told me. <laughs> it's funny, because he only thought it was I kind of <laughs> walked right into that one, didn't I? Uh, Mitch doesn't know I love it. Oh, man. I said Mitch Coletta, but I take it back because we're going to get divorced. <laughs> you ready, Mitch? You ready for the name of the quiz? We take an internet quiz every time. Okay. So he's going to do it for you. I'm going to do it for you, so answers. you tell me the answers, and I'll put them in there. Okay. Which okay. West Wing character are you? <laughs> I love Josh sh- Lyman? I love the show West Wing. <laughs> you, just you think you're Josh Lyman? That's yeah. what you think? Okay. All right, we're going to see. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. So what you're telling me is, so we do an internet quiz. That, oh, we're doing that? We're doing this? Do- I thought it was like a, a, a knowledge quiz. No, they're, stu- okay. they're stupid internet quizzes to decide. We just always do them because they're fun and they're dumb, and usually am, we all get the same thing. I am Lyman. Okay, politics. So the first question is your politics, okay. and there's nine options. <laughs> politics are a means to an end, are the foundation of America, make a good story, can be so frustrating, are mostly good, require clear cl- communication, are demanding and rewarding, are interesting from afar, or are an exciting game. What was the second one? The second one was, are the, the foundation, foundation of America. Yeah. You want to click that one? Yeah, man. All right, dude. Pick your spirit bird, which I will now show to you. <laughs> <laughs> what? It this? has everything to do with this. It's so true. Oh, my God. That eagle right there. The eagle in the middle? Yeah. The bald eagle? Yeah. <laughs> of course. The symbol America. of the nation's country? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go with this hawk thing. Man, if, <laughs> this if I hawk get... Thing. I'm taking this also, by the way. That's, yeah, Monica's taking it, too. I forget. Okay. If I get Jed, I'm going to be upset. That's <laughs> okay. I mean, I should, maybe should I, I got someone. I'm going to tell you who I got. You can get excited. Um, You slip and fall on a banana peel. What is your reaction? Hop back up. Call your assistant. Curse the cold heavens. Recover with a witty Call joke. Call my assistant. You don't want to hear the rest of them? No. Nope. Well, I got to tell the rest of them. For okay, that's Look fine. around. Nope. Look around. Hope no one saw. Playfully feign injury. Loudly bemoan your plight. Exact revenge upon said feel or, or said peel, and then chuckle at yourself. So you say, "Curse the cold heavens." No. Call your assistant. Yes. <laughs> that's why I asked. Curse the cold what did you pick? <laughs> Recover with a witty joke, uh, like about bananas, like I did that. Whole pick a tie. <laughs> what's your power tie? Well, pick a tie. What's my power tie? Um, I'm gonna. God, I, I can't think like the camera do me. I'm going to do the yellow one at the top. The yellow one at the top. Yellow, Are you trying to answer based on what character you want to be? No. He wants, he wants to be Josh Lyman because everyone wants to be I, Josh Lyman. I think that I am Josh Lyman, but I don't think Josh would wear a yellow tie. I will I will admit to that. Solid color power ties? Yeah, I think Leo would wear the yellow yeah. tie. Which one did you pick? Classy stripe one there at the Oh, uh, my God. Do you remember the episode right. where uh, they, they're going into the debate? <laughs> yeah. And it's a, it's a, all about the tie. Yeah. And then his wife shows up at the end. <laughs> Oh man, that was so good! good. So you're I don't want to. The end. Uh, I'm season four. Oh no, they're not. That's uh, there's another debate. Mom. Okay, no, no, no. There's, there's multiple it debates was in the so show. So good! Oh my gosh! No, yeah, it's a great show, man. <laughs> it's actually a feel good show. We could do a feel good. I review love of this it show. so much, man. Uh, like wh- I, it, it is my favorite show in a very long time. I watch it uh, probably like two hours a day, and I have never voted. <laughs> You never voted? Never voted? Never voted. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. That's something I would have thought. Gonna, is that going to change now? But if Bartlett... You're going to vote for Bartlett? I would have voted, for sure. Yeah, yeah, dude. If Martin Sheen ever runs for president, I will vote. It, might. As Jed Bartlett or what just Martin Charlie Sheen? Sheen if Charlie Sheen runs for you know, president? As, as Martin, Martin Sheen. Sheen's all like, I want to put gay people on an island, and you're like, already voted. Sorry, Dan. <laughs> 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 My bad. All right. Sorry. Yeah, continue. Next what question. do you value most in your friends? Morality, open-mindedness, honesty, logic, Kindness, loyalty, passion, sense of humor, a cool head. Loyalty. I said loyalty. Loyalty. Okay, both of loyalty. 
pick a United States president. Okay. Dwight D. Eisenhower, Abraham Lincoln, Thomas Jefferson, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, Harry Truman, Theodore Roosevelt, John F. Kennedy. I believe that's Taft? No, that's not Taft. Who is it? It's John Adams. John Adams, shit. And George Washington. Show me again. I said Harry Truman. You picked Truman? Mm Mm-hmm. Roosevelt. You picked which Roosevelt? Franklin, Franklin or Delano Roosevelt. I thought you'd take Theodore for sure. Teddy. <clears throat> How do you deal with conflict? Yell louder, crack <laughs> wise, stay calm and rational, talk it out, cold shoulder, weep but with dignity, <laughs> avoid it if possible, overreact and always apologize, overreact and sometimes apologize. <laughs> what was the th- the second one? Crack wise. Yell yep. with, crack wise? Yep. All right. And then pick a trusted confidant. And your choices are C.J. Craig, uh, the president's daughter Zoe, Josh Lyman, um, Danny, the the, the the reporter guy. Why? We, yeah, I'm going to say Donna. You're going to say Donna? Of course, yeah. All right. You're going to be Donna? And then Donna the other Moss. ones were Toby, Rob Lowe, which is Sam Seaborn, and then the president He's himself. still there, by the way. He is? Yeah, he hasn't left the show yet. I, do, I know he leaves. You know, I got a lot of it spoiled for me. Um, Monica, who did you get? Who did I get? I got Danny. You got Danny? Yeah. Danny. The reporter Danny? Does he yep. come back? I don't Does know. Does he come back? Is he the Danny? He's gone, right? He's been gone for a long time. You want me to tell you? You're the epitome of quick witted charmer. Do you want me to tell you or not? Well, yeah. He That's comes totally back. True. He comes back? Yeah. Okay, cool. You're off killed her. But he they just never even said. Oh, forget. she's just reading her. She's reading it for you. You're sharp as a tack, intellectually and emotionally perceptive and tenacious. Yes, you're usually the first to crack a joke. <laughs> <laughs> but you're always the first to crack a story. Ooh. Ooh. You're very good at getting what you want in life through honesty and personal networking, and you don't back down from a challenge. That's the best, like, summary Quiz. I've liked. You got it? Yeah. yeah. Pretty right, good. So Mitch, far. let me tell you who I got. I, got the I, take the quizzes, I take the quiz twice or three oh, times. Oh, so you did one by yourself earlier? I did one by myself. The first okay. time I got Josh Lyman. You the did? S- the second time I got Abby Bartlett. Wait, why do you take it twice? I took it twice to make sure it works. Because sometimes these quizzes are messed up, and everyone gets the same guy. It's happened multiple times. So, how did you wind <laughs> up? What, what did the you first time I me? took it legit? The second time I picked random answers. Okay. And I took it a third time too. Did you get the third time? I think I got. Josh you got Lyman. Josh Lyman. I did. Do you want to know who you got? No. Are you sure? I don't want to be disappointed. I think you kind of want to know. Who did I get? Josh Lyman. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Totally I got. got Josh Lyman. Mitch, you are as charming as you are clever, yeah, and you're very clever. <laughs> you tend to talk a big game, but behind that bravado, mm-hmm. you're a humble and idealistic team player. Oh, People gosh. are drawn to your confidence <laughs> and eloquence, and you have no problem being in the spotlight. You can easily win people over to your side, which makes you as powerful an ally and a dangerous enemy. I am so happy right now. Are you now? happy right now? I have never been this happy in my life. I know. Ah! I was, it was so funny because it came up, and I'm like, oh, hug I can't time. wait to tell it. Josh hug, Burrow. It's hug life. <laughs> Josh hug time. Burrow. No, Mitch Lyman. <laughs> <laughs> that is what I'm using. Well, now that's our, that's our, we're almost at an hour, so oh, you want? I actually have a charity this time. Do you? I do. Okay, I have a charity. I just found a random And um, I, like. I actually have have one that I'm really into that I keep forgetting to talk do you, about. Before though, do you have a fit? We ask our guests, do you have a favorite charity, charity or something that you like support every year? Uh, yeah, sh- we were in eighth grade together. She was pretty <laughs> awesome. She's a stripper now. Charity, uh, Burrow. Uh, <laughs> charity Burrow. <laughs> As- Askins was her last name. Charity Askins. Oh, okay, that's my favorite charity. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh no, just uh give give something to people who deserve it. I You don't have any like Marine Corps military. The Marine something? Corps does Toys for Tots. Okay. Um last I've done Toys for Tots there. through Boeing and it's just, I delivered our our packages <laughs> to some people and it was very upsetting. Like the, Why? cuz they lived in a big house and they had like four cars mm-hmm. and a boat. <laughs> And like I just I don't know what they're doing. It it, it just kind of it's kind of off putting. Yeah. Uh, I Doug Stanhope. Uh, I don't think it was a bit. I think he was just talking about charities. He's like find people in your in your community that need help and help them. Yeah. No, that's a good that's a good yeah, way to do good, it. We did that last year. We just we pick up different charities every week. And uh, Monica, do you want yours? Or do you want me to do mine? I don't care either way. You do yours because I mean this uh, I've never cool, really had a charity, it, and I so. keep forgetting to talk about it. This will be my charity. Then do you want to save yours for the next episode? Yeah. All right. Uh, kiva.org and the way this website works is you actually give small business loans to third world countries 
Yeah. And they pay you back. That's and it's awesome. so you're donating to charity, but you're really just helping someone out. It's an out. investment. It's an investment, and they pay you back. And so you can help people. With, it says here on the website it's $25 is the smallest amount. And in fact, sometimes if you're doing it through an organization, the way I found out about it was this a web channel called Vlog Brothers. And if you donated through them, your first one was like free. Okay. So they at Kiva actually fronts the loan for you the first time. And oh, they give okay. like, you can, you can give like $100 to like a guy who's trying to open a grocery store in hmm. some small country, and he'll give you it back. No interest. It's just like a loan, and then you give it back to you. Oh, That's so you fantastic. don't make any. Money you don't make any money on it, Mitch. So you don't lose any. I was really. But you know, and then and then the people will like. Uh, wow. So this one that says a loan of forty to fifty dollars helps Michael expand his horticulture farm, or like, you can help people like make a drugstore or something. I think it's cool because you're you're helping people, but you're not losing money. You're just letting them borrow something and pay you back. Right. As as long as it's successful. Mm, I I think no. There is that even the, I think Kiva will actually. I like it. I like it. Regardless of whatever smart aleck comments I'm making, I think it's an outstanding charity. Thank you. I like that one a lot. It's a good one. How do you spell that one? K I V A dot O R G. Good work. Kiva dot org. Actually, I thought it was the number one way to to benefit other people. I think that's what I learned. I took a global poverty class in college. It was like my favorite class. Had nothing to do with my major. But she, (laughs) but uh, my professor, like that's what she did for a long time. Was like actually work in human monitoring and stuff and so it was that's why it was so interesting is because she was like this is what it's really like this is what happens the best way to help these people is to fund them becoming self-sufficient like yeah funding loans. them with their own farms and zero stuff like interest that. So, loans yeah helping build things they actually use or need yeah so that's so awesome. that's why I, like, I actually heard of this charity years ago and I, I forgot about it and i'm like duh this is a perfect one for the podcast mm, good work so that's our show we've hit exactly an hour right now i just uh i just want to say something that um <clears throat> you t- you two actually look really happy together, <laughs> oh. and uh, you know I I know what I had, but it's it's gone now. But oh. I just, I'm I'm happy that you two found each other. I so. will say, if I could quit my job, I would I would stay with you all. The time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Mike. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go I, cover my face in annoying <laughs> face fish. <laughs> I just want everybody. I, w- I wish Can I have both of you? much success uh, to the to the to hug Monica. life <laughs> <laughs> to the hug life podcast. Thanks for having me on. Thank, Thank you, you, Mitch. Thanks for coming. You're great. You're great. You're great. Uh, you're Mitch. Mitch, you're great. You're great. Mitch, I'm say it. Great. You're great. There you go. <laughs> Mitch is great. <laughs>